What's going on everyone? Michael Martin here, Bizarro Mike, and this is Wake Up Wednesdays. We are hurtling at breakneck speed towards Capcom Cup, which of course is December 8th through 10th. We've still got a few details we need to go over for Capcom Cup. I'm going to do that today. I know fans and players have been asking. We appreciate your support and your patience. Let's get into it. First things first, best of five all the way through at Capcom Cup. That was probably a given. Stream. Last year we tried one stream, tried to put all the matches on one stream for a better viewing experience, but I think there were some sacrifices made. This year we're going with two streams. We're going to have everything on two streams. Brackets. This is the important part. Before I get into the brackets, we've obviously had a major development in the last couple of days. I want to cover that real quick. Knuckledew has chosen to not attend Capcom Cup. He is the reigning Capcom Cup champion. As a result of that, it's a different circumstance than if, say, a player who's maybe number 29 on the leaderboards cho chooses not to attend or can't make it. Normally, a player would be below would be bumped into the leaderboard. Unfortunately, that's not the case. Here's Knuckledew's tweet talking about why he can't attend. I most likely won't be attending Capcom Cup 2017. Talk to Capcom and they support my decision completely. Waiting to hear back from Team Liquid. I appreciate everyone's support throughout the year. Thank you. Team Liquid replied, supportive of Dew's decision. Because we have a rule in the CPT that says if the champion, the grand champion, Capcom Cup 2016 cannot attend because he has that auto invite, that spot will go to the runner up of Capcom 2016, which is Ricky Ortiz. Ricky, of course, has accepted that spot. She will play at Capcom Cup. However, she will be the 31 seed. We're doing this basically by points and because of the, the structure of the leaderboard, she slots in at 31, which makes sense. That means also the last chance qualifier will be 32. There's been some speculation about how Ricky or the last chance qualifier may fit into the, to the leaderboard and the bracket. 31 for Ricky, 32 for the LCQ. That makes the most sense because if we try to do the LCQ by points, we're gonna throw the whole bracket off on the last day. So in order to have all the players ready and prepared for who they want to play, who they need to play, Ricky will be 31, LCQ is 32. All right, having said all of that, the brackets, let's take a look at these brackets. Starting with the top, we've got Punk who will play the LCQ winner, Daigo versus Brolinho, Kazunoko versus Big Bird, Sien versus Min RD, Haitani versus Sako, Justin Wong versus Moke, Itabashi Zangief versus Phenom, and Problem X versus Edo on Strider. Moving on to the lower half, we have Tokido versus Ricky Ortiz, Gachikun versus Goichi, Bonchan versus Smug, Fudo versus Momochi, Yukidon versus Didimo KOF, Oil King versus Snake Eyes, Dogra versus Luffy, and Verlorn versus Mago. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw out the disclaimer that the bracket is subject to change only in the case of any last minute dropouts. It's happened in the past. We don't expect that to happen. For now, coming into Capcom Cup, this is how your brackets will look. Reminder, Friday and Saturday is at the Anaheim Hilton. It's free to come check everything out, free to spectate, free to watch the matches. We've got vendors, we've got all kinds of things going on. Onosan will be signing one of those days. So make sure you come check everything out. The last chance qualifier will be on Friday, top 32 action on Saturday. Finals will be at the Anaheim Convention Center at the PlayStation Experience. You will need a badge for PlayStation Experience to watch finals. So going back to Friday and that last chance qualifier, registration for that ends tonight. It's $20, you get a free t-shirt. If you're gonna be there, you might as well play for that, that 30 second spot in Capcom Cup. We've got some heavy hitters coming. Like, I, I mean, I've talked about this, but it's incredible. The, this tournament is stacked for not having those top 31 players in the field. This tournament is stacked. We weren't sure what to expect for the first last chance qualifier. People are coming from all over the world. I just wanna run down this list real quick for you. Evil Geniuses, Chris G, Shao Hai, F Champ, K Brad, DR Ray, MOV, Gamer B, Brian F, Mono from Puerto Rico, Infiltration, Samurai, Gams Kaba, PR Balrog, Alex Myers, Nemo, JB, LPN. Everyone from NorCal, SoCal, everyone from Japan, Korea, like this is a major tournament. So, if you can't be there, make sure you watch twitch.tv slash Capcom Fighters, but if you, can, if you can be there, 
If you don't, if you're not participating, come check it out. Massive tournament. This is for that 30 second spot, whoever gets into Capcom Cup on Saturday. 11 to 9, Friday and Saturday, Capcom Cup Finals is 2 to, two to 8 on Sunday. That's everything. As always, twitch.tv slash Capcom Fighters for the streams. Make sure you follow at Capcom Fighters for any updates on the Capcom Pro Tour and Street Fighter, competitive Street Fighter V. I'm Michael Martin. Thank you for watching. Wake up Wednesdays. We'll see you next week.